Experiment number 154. Endothermic reactions. Most of the reactions are exothermic ones as they are most likely to be produced. The reaction between barium hydroxide and ammonium chloride is performed in order to study endothermic reactions. For this, we need 32 grams of barium hydroxide octahydrate. We also need 11 grams of ammonium chloride. Place a 200 milliliter beaker on a wooden support, which was previously wetted with a few drops of water. Add both reagents to the beaker and mix them with a glass rod. Observe the slurry formed. Pay attention as toxic ammonia gas is evolving. Measure the temperature of the slurry and observe you can get a 37 degrees Celsius drop up to minus 17, minus 20 degrees Celsius. This reaction is spontaneous even if the variation of the enthalpy is positive. This is due to a big variation of entropy which gives the negative value for the variation of free enthalpy. Observe the beaker which is frozen to the wooden plate due to the low temperature obtained. As barium chloride is formed, Discard the reaction products in a container used to collect toxic inorganic waste. 